All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Are you listening? Yes, how can I help you? Like, ah! You are the one that's been listening to my husband. Eh? You are the one that's been listening to my man. Which one? Are you mad? Are you mad? You don't know James is my man. You don't know James is ah! my man. Ah! Okay, you okay. Ah! It's okay. okay. Just calm down. Don't worry, you'll find a good man, okay? Me, you took me, 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 James. James, please, James, I'm begging. James, please, don't do this to us. What part of I don't want this, don't you understand? Hmm? Okay, I, I know you said that a million and one times, but please, okay, I'm begging, just give us one last no. chance. James, what do you want me to do? I asked you to leave. You said you don't want to go, so I'm going to go, okay? Ever since you came into my life, it has been mental. You're bad luck, Nancy. Okay, fine, yes, I admit, whatever you want to say to me, I'll take it, but please, just don't leave. No, I can't share a house with you anymore. I'm done. You're welcome. Make yourself comfortable. You are in the right place. How may I help you? Um, I want my boyfriend to love me. I don't want him to see any other female except me. Is that all? No. Well, kind of. I mean, yeah, the, basically, I don't, I don't, I, I want him to marry me, to love me, to do everything that I say. I want it to be just two of us, like, just us two till the end of time. Did you come with the money? Yes, yes. Two hundred thousand. There. Okay. Please, you're, you're my only hope. I just want this really post. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. You're home early. I resigned. What? Yes, yes. Come, come. Listen, listen. Okay, you resigned. that, you know, I need to focus on things that are more important, like, 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 spending time of you and taking care of you. Like, so wait, 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 wait. You, you know you could do all of this, my love, without resigning, right? No, it's impossible. Listen, listen. So I was at work today, and, and all I could think about was, this is distracting me from, from loving you and taking care of I cooked. I cooked. You cooked? Yes. James. Oh, really? <laughs> James. Baby, wake up. James! Jesus. James! No, you, you, no, no, James! This is not worth it. You could have left this relationship with James a long time ago. You have peace of mind. What's going on? I just wanted him to marry me. The years went out. The only thing I want for him is to wake up. James, uh, James, James, I beg you, Vivi, please don't say that word. I'm begging you, please. James is not dead. James is not dead. When I thought you had died, I just wanted you to wake up. The thought of murdering someone that I love just put me in a very dark spot that I'm still yet to get out of. Anson, yeah, listen, we can work this out, okay? All that is what's yes. under the bridge. I apologize for everything that I I put you through. I think you should leave. All right, guys. So let's talk about this one. Uh, love me like you do. You know, I really don't know if people uh, understand that it's not the same when somebody doesn't love you with free will. Even men that have the money and throw it at women, they really don't feel good about the fact that they are not sure if this lady really loves them with free will or if it's the money that's keeping the lady there, you know, and it's always going to be a problem because, you know, somewhere in their heart, they're not going to really feel happy with the relationship. When it comes to the charm part, I, I don't really believe in the charms, all these charms, but, you know, there's a vast majority of people that believe in it. So we're going to talk about it as if it's real. Now, at the beginning, she really loved this guy, genuinely loved this guy. And of course, you know, the guy had his own reasons for not wanting to be in the relationship. But the moment she went and used charm to hold him, even as you're watching the movie, you could tell that it's no longer the same. You could really tell that she wasn't feeling the love. She's just like, you know, watching this person that's now pretty much a zombie. That's the reality of it. Once you apply charm, you know, once you take away the free spirit and the free willingness of somebody to love you, what you get is no longer the same thing. 
That's why, you know, you see all these people that tell you, you know, if he's not treating you right, leave. You know, leave because his heart is no longer in the relationship. Or if it's a lady, her heart is no longer in the relationship. Whatever you're getting is now just chaff. And that chaff, definitely, it's not enough to make you feel like somebody that's loved. Because, you know, of course, you know, you know, he has reservations. He or she has reservations. The moral of this is, you know, don't hang on to something that's failing. If for any reason you feel that the person you are in a relationship with is not really into the relationship anymore, you know, do your best to make sure that it's not something that's solvable. There might be issues that people might be going, personal issues that might have put them into depression. So it's not really about you in the relationship. It's about the situation. It could be money. It could be, you know, past trauma. It could be, you know, issues at work, whatever the case may be. And it might not directly affect you in that case. So that's why it's always good to try to find out, you know, what the situation is. But if you happen to find out that it's really about the relationship, that they're no longer really into it for whatever reason it is, you know, then you have to really consider walking away. Because, you know, uh, if you don't walk away, you would practically just be hanging on to something that's really going down the drain. And when that's the case, that means you're going down the drain with it. So no need to put yourself through such an emotional trauma. You know, if it's not working, just move out, move on. You know, maybe we should talk about something as it pertains to this moving on. Because a lot of people have problems when the whole issue of move on comes up. And the reason why it's understandable is the fact that they're the ones that are still in love. You know, the other party might have checked out already. They're the ones that are still in love. So, you know, one way, somehow or another, it tends to still get to them. Uh, that the other party is no longer in it with them. You know, there's one advice. When you're cutting ties, cut ties. Don't check their posts. Don't check their pages. Don't see what they're doing. You know, cut them off. Cut them off totally. In that way, you know, your mind would enter the healing stage instead of still hovering in the what is going on stage you know so stop checking their status updates stop seeing what they're doing where they went for the weekend who they're hanging out with cut all that stuff out and once you do you will start healing um I, people have lost loved ones and they're still alive so i believe me everybody can survive a breakup everybody it doesn't matter the only thing that's different is the what next so depending on who is who in the relationship it's gonna be easy easier for some people to move on for instance if you're the one that depended on the relationship for maybe daily feeding then of course it's gonna get to you because now your source of feeding is gone so yeah, definitely you're going to have a harder time, you know, dealing with the breakup because now you got to try to find ways out. And yes, you're going to survive it. Yes, you're going to find ways out, but it's not going to just be a walk in the park. You know, things are going to change in your life or have to get rearranged in your life for you to find your feet again, you know. And if you're not the person that's dependent, then it's easier for you to, you know, take a hike and, you know, get yourself. That's pretty much it with this one guys uh, if you love this kind of content please like share subscribe follow this is cj from mcmelly studios and i'm here 